Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be they thought you were miserable and unhappy. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they thought you were miserable and unhappy. All right, listen, somebody drop in the comments and say, psych. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, psych. Okay? They thought they had a friend. You're not miserable. You're not unhappy. Okay? In fact, even if you are not uh, in a place of serenity, you know, euphoria, the way you just, you know, joyous every day, guess what? We are on the way to it. All right? And not only that, y'all, I'll take a trying man or woman over the person who's not trying. All right? Listen, y'all, effort is better than nothing. I'll take that. Okay? But I need y'all to realize something. We not going to settle for what they trying to give us. We not going to settle for what they trying to tell us. Okay? They want you to be miserable. They want you to be unhappy. Don't believe the lies, y'all. Okay, don't believe the lies. I had to realize something, y'all, about myself. You know, when you are a content creator, you know, somebody who's always speaking life into people, you have to remain positive. But I realized that, man, everybody is not positive like me, right? Everybody is not in a position to where they want to receive prosperity or receive happiness and so i say that as the same thing as you you got to realize something y'all everybody not gonna be happy for you everybody not gonna be positive like you everybody just won't have that mm about themselves. they won't somebody drop in the comments and say everybody don't got it yes sir make sure you drop in the comments family and say everybody don't got it okay this right here is a major point y'all right but anyway um y'all already know how we do y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel yes sir and not only that y'all y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video i post let's get into it chosen wars uh number one they going through it yes sir let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they going through it, right? I'm sure everybody know the saying because we said in almost every video. Well, not almost every video, but y'all get the point. Misery loves company. And so I need y'all to realize this, family, the fact that they are going through it, they want you to go through it, right? They lost their job, they want you to lose your job. They lost their car, they want you to lose your car. They lost their man or woman, they want you to lose their man or woman. Rena, what are you saying right now? They are going through it so bad that they are trying to project it onto you. They are going through it so bad to where they are automatically, it's like they are wishing it on you. They wishing things upon you. It's a lot of bad things that they wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing. Okay? They wishing it on you, y'all. And so you have to understand something. You got to look over and look past these type of individuals. No, still keep them at bay now. Yeah, no, don't let them come into your castle. No, they can't come into your castle. Still keep them at bay, but I will say this, y'all. Overlook them. See them and don't see them, right? You know, just like when I used to work at the airport, y'all. Well, not, not the airport. It was Goodwill. I told y'all I done worked a thousand jobs. But just like when I used to work at Goodwill, y'all, it would be so many negative people and people who was just, uh, you could just tell it was like their soul was gone. Right, because they were just in there just, just working, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Just that's it, work. And then it's like they didn't have no spark about themselves, right? And so these type of people tend to be miserable and they are trying to cast that on to you, right? And so that's what I'm saying. When I went there, I would have to see them, but not see them. Right? Same thing with certain managers. I would see them and not see them. Like I look past them. Like I see you, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I see you, but yeah, all right, cool. You know, I'm going to keep going on about my business and do what I do, okay? And so, that's the same thing what I'm telling you. You got to see them, y'all, but don't see them. Because as soon as you lock eyes with them, it's like they be waiting like blood houndsty. Uh, what? Blood houndsty. Uh, they be waiting on you like bloodthirsty hound dogs. Yeah, y'all, hound dogs. Just, couldn't, just can't wait for you to lock eyes with them so they can cast that spirit onto you. Because that's all it is, y'all. It's a spirit. 
right? It is a spirit. Y'all got to understand that, all right? But anyway, y'all, understand this. They are going through it, y'all. This is why they thought that you were miserable, okay, and unhappy. Somebody drop in the comments and say you thought wrong. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say you thought wrong, okay? Uh, anyway, y'all, let's move on to the next one. Number two, you left the nest, all right? You left the nest, okay? Now, many people, when I say you left the nest, uh, they're probably automatically thinking I'm talking about you left family, okay? But honestly, y'all, I'm talking about you left the nest in terms of you left your comfortability, okay? You left your comfortability, all right? Which means you left all the things you knew, okay? You left your guarantee, Oh, yeah, y'all, like the guarantee joking when you throw it out, you know, you're going to get that book. Yeah, y'all, you left the guarantee. Yes, sir. And so what that simply means is, y'all, you know, you are now on your own, okay? The next could have been your job. The next could have been family. Yep, that can't still be the next now. The next could have been your family. The next could have been your friends. The next could have been your hometown. The next could have been, you know, all the things that you have known all your life, your whole life. That's the next, okay? And you left it. I tell people all the time, sometimes you got to separate from the pack. That's the only way you're going to be able to grow and get the way you're trying to go to. Sometimes you really got to leave the pack, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, leave the pack. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, leave the pack. You know, and so when you leave that nest, some people automatically feel like you're going to fail. You going through it. You can't do this without me. You can't wait to come at home, can't you? Right? You know, it reminds me of just like that movie, uh, According to Straight Out of Compton, right? According to the movie, you know, when um, Dr. J was going to leave, well, he was actually leaving uh, Death Row, and then sure Knight was like, what you going to call the label? And he was like, the aftermath, right? And so, although that was a dramatic scene, the point of what I'm saying is it was like, according to the movie, sure Knight was, you know, uh, waiting on my man downfall just waiting on him to fail right that at least that's what it seemed like to me and so that's the same thing y'all with this right here when you leave the nest they like man you ain't you can't survive you don't got it you don't got that grit you don't got that heart how you gonna do this how you gonna and you couldn't even handle it uh, handle it over here y'all following what i'm saying so when you leave the nest, y'all, you have to understand that people are going to automatically assume that you are miserable and unhappy, and that is not the case. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm happy, all right? And once again, y'all, I don't care if you are in a position to where you're not at your happiest. Listen, y'all, you got to speak life into your life. There's death and life on the tongue. You have to understand that. Okay, so speak that life. I don't care if you're not happy. I don't care if you're miserable. No, I'm happy. Okay, I'm not miserable. And guess what, y'all? A year from now, two years from now, maybe five years from now, you'll be living your dream life. But you got to first speak that into existence. Okay, speak life into your life. Somebody drop in the comments and say, speak life. Let's go, y'all. Okay, moving on to the next one, family. It's going to be number three. And that is uh, you won't compete with them. All right? You won't compete with them, okay? Listen, y'all, I tell people all the time, stop competing with the unhappy. It's almost like you're racing to destruction. It's almost like you're racing to a, a, a black rabbit hole. You're racing to the pit, right? No, you want to be at the race at, to the top. You don't want to be in a race to the bottom. Like, no, nah, we're not racing to the bottom. Let's race to the top if, if we're going to race, okay? And so with that being said, y'all, you know, they feel like you're miserable and unhappy because you won't compete with them, right? Oh, you don't want to compete with me, huh? You think you're too good to compete with me. No, it's not necessarily about competing uh, with you or, you know, me being miserable. It's just the fact that I don't want to be in a race with a bum. I don't want to be in a race, you know, with a bum, right? Like, when it comes to my videos, y'all, I'm not competing with people who don't do as many views as me. I'm not competing with people who don't post as much as me, right? I don't, I'm not competing with people who don't have the same eyes as me, right? You know, I am in a friendly competition with those who are doing better than me. Why? Because that puts me in position to succeed a thousand times more, 
okay? I'm competing with the people who got hundreds of thousands, 200,000, you know, 500,000, millions of subscribers, okay? Who's doing 10K uh, views per video. Those are the people who I am in a friendly competition with, right? I'm not competing with people, you know, who's miserable and unhappy because their channel is not doing what they need to do, okay? And so this is the mindset that you got to have, y'all. Don't compete with the miserable and unhappy. You're only going to be in a race all the way down to the bottom, all right? Simple as that, y'all. It's like a sinking ship. Okay, because when a person is miserable and unhappy, it's nothing good that's going to come out of that race. All right. It's like you are racing against uh, bitterness, trauma, toxic behavior. Is this what you want to race against? Is this what you want to compete against? I know I don't. Right. I know I don't. But that's the whole point, y'all, okay? Uh, moving on to the next one, y'all, which is going to be number four, and that is you gave them an inch. All right? Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you gave them an inch. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now. Y'all know the, uh, the, the famous saying, if you give them an inch, then what they going to take, Reno? A mile. Yep. If you give them an inch, then they are going to take a mile. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. This is why you have to be mindful of who you tell your business to. This is why you have to be mindful of who you are allowed to come on the inside of your life. This is why you have to be mindful. Because here's the thing, y'all. We humans. So at some point, we will get tired. At some point, we will feel like giving up. At some point, I don't care who, who I always say, I never wanted to give up a day in my life. I don't care who said that. They're lying. We all hear the thoughts, but it's about who don't answer to that voice. Like, I don't answer to the voice of fear, doubt. I don't answer to the, the, uh, the enemy's voice. I don't answer to their voice. I answer to God's voice. I answer to the voice that's on the inside of me that is uplifting and empowering me. I answer to that voice. Reno, what are you saying right now? Once you, you know, give them an inch, meaning you was tired one day, you had to vent, and lo and behold, you done told uh, what that happened between you and Keisha in the relationship. Right, you done told Amanda about what happened between you and Billy. You done told her, and now guess what? She thinks she got her friend. Once again, somebody drop in the comments and say, Psych, you don't have a friend. I'm not miserable, I was just tired. Okay, even in the scripture, y'all, it speaks about you know, don't be worried, you know, get weary, but don't not worry. It's okay to be tired. Because we are not machines. We are human beings. And so human beings are going to get tired at some point. But once again, y'all, once you give them that inch, they will take a mile. Okay? You, you, you get a woman comfortable about talking about your husband. Yep. Guess what? You gave her that inch. Now you make her feel comfortable about, man, you know Ray ain't nothing. Now she's talking about your husband. It's because you done, you done gave her that inch. Right? And she taking them out. Okay? And so, this is why you can't talk about uh, loved ones to other people or relationships to other people because they still feel that same way. You don't. You don't want who done laid up and now y'all good. Y'all done pillow talk and y'all done, mm, y'all done did all these different things. Yeah. Y'all good. They still feel the same way. Right? So what I'm simply saying, y'all, is that you can't give people an inch or they will take them out. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? Drop in the comments and let me know, okay? But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get to the next one, family, which is going to be number five, all right? And that is they're accustomed to what you used to attract. Man, this is a big one, y'all. They are accustomed to what you used to attract, okay? You know, y'all, I had this problem um, you know, with my family, not going to speak on any particulars. Okay. But I had this problem with my family. Um, the ex situation I had, it was like they were, uh, used to that. Right. I I'll be transparent with y'all. Nobody really taught me about women. I learned that on my own. Right. Everybody was too focused on what they had going on. Uh, they had their own requirements. Nobody really gave me the right info on women. And so, 
once I finally learned it, then I began to attract the better quality of women, okay, or women. And so uh, I say all that to say this. My family got used to me attracting a certain type of woman. That particular woman kept me miserable. Yeah, it kept me unhappy. Okay, I'm talking about the ones that cheat on you, the one that lie to you. Yeah, got a real cute face, absolutely. But I'm talking about the ones who, you know, they're not worth nothing. And so uh, my family began to think that the new uh, woman or the new women I would attract was still the same. And they realized that real quick that, oh, this ain't the same right here. Yeah, no, I'm not miserable anymore. I'm not, you know, unhappy anymore. At one point, that was the case. I was. Every time you see my face, look, I just uh, lost the Super Bowl <laughs> because I just knew things wasn't right, right? But people will get used to what you attract. They'll, they'll begin to think that everything you have in your possession is bad for you. Everything you have in your possession is doing you wrong. Everything that you have in your possession is out to get you, right? And if you're not careful, then you'll begin to believe it. If you are not careful, you'll begin to believe that, man, maybe they are right. This ain't for me. Right? Your dreams, you done hung it up. Maybe this ain't for me. Okay? The girl who was good for you, great for you, maybe this ain't for me. Done, she done, uh, uh, well, mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin, whoever it is, done talked you out of your blessing. And it came directly from God. Right? It done came directly from God. Somebody drop in the comments and say, you won't treat me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, you won't treat me. Okay? This right here is major, y'all. They are used to what you used to attract, or they are accustomed to what you used to attract, all right? But once again, y'all, once you uh, create a new you, or once you build a new you, then it's gonna be, it's gonna take some adjusting for them. And some people never adjust. Like, some people never adjust, y'all. You gotta understand that, right? But, you know, with that being said, y'all, they thought that you were miserable and unhappy, and that's not the case. Once again, y'all, somebody drop in the comments and say you thought wrong, all right? But number one, y'all, they going through it. So they want them a friend, okay? But they've been unsuccessful. Number two, you left the nest. It is okay to separate from the pack, all right? This is how you're going to grow. This is how you get bigger. This is how you get better, all right? Number three, you won't compete with them. Once again, y'all, when you are competing with miserable and unhappy people, it's like you are racing down to the bottom, all right? No, have a race to the top, all right? Compete with people who are doing better than you, not who are doing worse than you. That's backwards. Number four, you gave them an inch, and guess what, y'all? They took a mile. And number five, family, they're accustomed to what you used to attract, all right? They think that you're that same person attracting terrible things, and that's not the case, you're not miserable. You're not happy. And like I told you're not unhappy. And like I told you, if you're not happy right now, if you feel like you are miserable, still speak that life into yourself because there's life and death in the tongue. All right. But with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get a body here. Uh, y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase any one of my yes sir t-shirts, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me or, um, Enroll into my <clears throat> enroll into my social influence course. You can do so by clicking the link inside my description. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course. Okay, where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality